Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do Moroccanian tiles. So first we have to create a board and it have to be by 500 pixel and the height is 400 pixel. Let's create one. Okay. So first I'm going to have a circle 200 pixel by 200 pixel and let's align it to the center and to the top now we get the bottom part of it and we're going to delete it now let's duplicate this circle So no fear. And then now we're going to select the side of this and delete it. Let's put it on the side over here. And first let's get the line segment tool. And we're going to do 50 pixel by 180 pixel. Okay. So here is our line segment. Let's copy paste this. Copy, paste, and I'm just going to put it close to intersect. And then let's get uh, this object, copy and paste. So let's put this to intersect. And then let's turn this around. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let object path and join, and I'm going to align it to the center and to the top. So now let's duplicate this and let's rotate it around no fear of course so let's align this let's see This is not aligned, center and bottom. Let's align it, center bottom I know it looks like it need to be down a little bit okay it looks nice so I'm going to select all of this and object path and join and also I want to have the stroke a little bit wider okay so if you have the same problem but I have here this right here the way to um, fix this easily select this dot here object, path, average, both and then it is disappear and then here too I have a problem so
so object path average and both so there you go looks nice all right so let's select this and put it to the swatch panel click away and now let's make a rectangle tool let's click on here let's scale it scale oops so not transformation 20 by 20 okay so this looks good however I wanted to have it in color so let's choose the stroke for orange orange and the fill pink or maybe a different color I like the pink okay so now again <coughs> select and put the object I mean the swatch into the swatch panel and now come to this board and select the pink swatch and there you go is changed into a beautiful Moroccanian tile so the end of the tutorial I want to show you how to make the tiles in different colors So here is our Moroccanian tile, select and let's put it up here, copy and paste. There you go, copy and paste maybe three of them this fits beside each other okay so let's select all of them and shift hold down I want to make it exactly as the board so again copy and paste I'll just put it right underneath again copy and paste okay so this is a slightly bigger than the board I'm going to select all of it and shift and I'm just going to try to make it exactly as the board Okay, I think it is good. No, this is have to be.
so this is a little bit lower and I think now is good ok let's select this again ok so now I'm going to select the stroke for different color maybe let's get it light blue very nice and I'm going to color each one of them for different color oops that's not what I wanted to do um, the inside the feel I wanted to have different color each one of them so let's get orange let's get blue pink uh, brown green light green maybe this one what color I didn't have yet no this is to the same different purple and let's do dark brown ok perfect ok so now we're going to select all and put it into the swatch panel and click away I'm going to make a rectangle here fill with the swatch and it turned out pretty nice let's make it scale it down a little bit because it's too big scale maybe 60% and not, not transform object wow it is very very pretty i'm super happy with the outcome hope you like my video and you're going to try these beautiful Moroccanian tiles to make it for yourself thank you